Hello, Atheist Republic. My name is Philippe Bruno. I'm French, and I'm also known as the Irreducible Atheist. On June 23, in the city of Grenoble, a handful of women broke the hygiene regulations of French public pool, pools sorry, and jumped into the water wearing burkini suits. When asked to get out of the pool, they refused to comply. So the pool has to be evacuated and other swimmers, uh, well, the pool was evacuated of other swimmers and close to be cleaned after their departure. Uh, later, the same week, they did it again, using this time force against the agent of the pool uh, to meet their goal. Again, the pool had to be closed and cleaned after they are gone. They made a third attempt, but this time they have been blocked by a security service, security service that was put on uh, by the authorities. <clears throat> so, um, the swimmers had to show they had the proper outfits uh, to be granted access. So, they stayed uh, nearby the entrance and tried to convince other visitors uh, of the legitimacy, legitimacy of their fight and to join them in their revendication. Um, quickly, names were thrown <laughs> from each side. Uh, then a naturist uh, association warned the authorities that they would meet uh, the Burkini girls in the pool in case they reiterate their action. Some say that French laicity is discriminatory to Muslims. Uh, those who dare to say that should learn a bit more about the historic battle that took place in France in the beginning of 20th century to impose the separation of state and mainly the Catholic Church. They also should remember that 63% of the French population defines itself as non-affiliated to any religion. 63%, that's a large majority. Uh, almost half of those, uh, meaning nearly 20 million people, declares to be agnostics, freethinkers, or atheists. Religious people are not the majority here. Furthermore, um, they are divided between Catholics, Muslims, Protestant Jews, Evangelical, and so on. Um, you have to know that only 12% of people who claim to be uh, Catholics um, go to Mass on a regular basis. Only 12%. Um, the proportion of devotees Muslims is higher but uh, they are less as a whole. They only represent seven to nine percent uh, of the general population. Those are estimation, estimation because we don't have uh, sure figures, but it's a, quite a good estimation. So those women uh, who jumped into the water with burkinis are members of an NGO called Citizen Alliance and this organization claims to fight against disc fight discrimination against muslim women and for their free access to public services uh, no one is denied the access to public services in france because of its religion race or any reason. It's a blatant lie. Um, their representative is a woman called Tao Samuti and she's a known Islamist activist and um, she can be easily related to the Muslim Brotherhood uh, by checking out her Facebook, her Facebook page for example. What's interesting is to watch closely to the structure of the Citizen Alliance Association. On its website, you can discover that in 2016, the association received $80,000 American dollars funding 
from the Open Society Foundation, which is a branch of George Soros' uh, Open Society Initiative for Europe. Uh, but that's not the only enlightening fact. The real head of the Citizen Alliance is in fact a man, Adrien Roux, who is a part of the Alinsky Institute. For those who don't know Saul Alinsky, uh, this guy is um, a, uh, a, a, a theorized form of activism. And he wrote a book called Rules of the Radicals. Adrien Roux uses Alinsky's tactics in order to force the authorities to accept the generalization of Islamic demands of exceptions. Uh, French law doesn't recognize any religion. The government is supposed to take care about individual rights only, and to take that only, only that in consideration. No group whatsoever is supposed to be granted special rights. Uh, the 1905 law of separation of church and states guarantees the absolute freedom of conscience of each citizen, but not the absolute freedom of exercise of the cult. No political speech is allowed, for example, in any religious temple, any priest, pastor or imam, can be prosecuted if he calls for secession, rebellion, civil disobedience, etc. And you can't sacrifice uh, also a newborn baby to please Mithra. France is facing a massive operation of destabilization through Islamic revendications funded by foreign states such as the US through the State Department, the Qataris, the Saudis, the Turkish, Algerian, Moroccans and Tunisian governments and also individual individuals uh, like Mr. Soros. Uh, the goal is to impose their vision of a pacific coexistence between antagonist religious groups sharing the same geographic space. Uh, what we call, what is called the multiculti uh, model. And this is not a model French people should to live by. That's why we resist. Vive la laïcité. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.